Hey, hey, hey everyone, Rosbisky here, and welcome back to Victory Road, our live ranked Wi-Fi battle spot series. Today, guys, our party consists of Politoed, Azumarill, Bisharp, Gengar, Tyranitar, and Talonflame. We've got a very interesting party here. First of all, for the rain side of the party, we've obviously got Drizzletoad, we've got Zoomerol, and we also have Gengar. Now, it's going to be a Mega Gengar holding the thunder, which is going to be 100% accuracy when that rain is up, which is going to be nice and juicy, it's fast as fuck, so we're hopefully just going to be sweeping through the team with raw power today. On the slightly more defensive side, we have got Tyranitar. It's a very, very bulky, sassy Tyranitar to set up that all-powerful Sandstream with a Bisharp, providing the sucker punch power, and going on for the Talonflame. Now, Talonflame Tyranitar combination was suggested to me by Jonathan Ellison, a very, very fantastic guy and a good friend of mine who's been supporting the channel for a long time. You've probably heard me talking about him before, but he suggested putting in Talonflame in the combination with the sand holding the safety goggles, putting those fucking goggles on, making sure none of that sand affects him, and we will see how this combination works out. So let's just dive straight into this and find ourselves a ratings battle. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get somebody easy because recently, um, we really, really want to get our, uh, we want to get as high up the rankings as possible. That is the purpose of this live Battle Spot series. You get to hear my reactions as we aim for the very tippy top. Now, we've got somebody here, a beautiful female with a lovely bow on her hat there. We're going to be diving in against her, Volcarona, Gardevoir, uh, Ferrothorn, Donphan, Breloom, and Hydragon. Okay, what is going to be a good team against these guys? Okay, 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 okay. I'm thinking a good team might be... The rain team? No, because that... That Ferrothorn's going to be an absolute problem. I don't like that Ferrothorn there. I don't like it whatsoever. I think I might bring the actual Talonflame team. Bisharp, Tyranitar, and Talonflame. So we're going to start off with Tyranitar. We're going to be moving on to the Bisharp. And we've also got the Talonflame in there. Let's see how this goes. I'm kind of scared of that high dragon, though. I'm kind of scared of that high dragon, but we've got Talonflame for that. Bit of priority Brave Bird there might be quite nice. Let's test out this team. Let's see how Jonathan Ellison has put together this team and see whether it's going to be good or not. I blame you, Johnny. If we lose this battle, I blame you, sir. I blame you. No, I'm only joking. It's nice that he suggested a, a, a set for us. So if you have a set that you want to suggest, then please go ahead and do that. As she issues a challenge, we're going to be leading off with the Tyranitar to get that almighty sand stream up. And uh, I think Tyranitar is actually holding the leftovers. Okay, this is not a good matchup. This is not a good matchup whatsoever. We're going to be switching out. We do not want this Breloom against the Tyranitar. She obviously knows what she's doing because she's going to be leading off with the Breloom against our Tyranitar here. So let's switch into Talonflame. Let's switch into Talonflame here because we want to keep the Tyranitar around because we want that Sandstream up. We want that Sandstream up. So the Talonflame is going to be massively effective against this um, Breloom here and should be able to take these hits. It's no problem at all. Hopefully, it doesn't get too many. Okay, so that's three so far out of five possible. Um, okay, not very effective. We only hit three times. That's fantastic. So, the this guy is going to be brought in. He is going to switch out here. There is no way she is going to be keeping this Breloom in. So, guys, we're going to go for the Sword Stance. We're going to go for the Sword Stance. We're going to boost our power here because there is no way she's staying in. That's right. She's not staying in. She's switching out. We are going to get the Sword Stance up and we are going to sweep, guys. We are going to sweep here. This is exactly what we want. We're going to get the Priority Brave Bird here off and we're going to try and destroy this house. High Dragon. The High Dragon was going to be a problem, but if we get the all-powerful um, Brave Bird here, if we get this Brave Bird off, we're already pretty damn powerful. We got one Swords Dance off. Let's see if we can take out this High Dragon in one hit. If we can, we are on to a winner. Please take it out. Please take it out. There we go. High Dragon has gone. We have got the Swords Dance up, baby, and we are hopefully going to sweep here. Well, probably not sweep that much. Look at our health. Our health has gone right down thanks to the recoil, but at the same time, we have done very, very good damage here. Now, Guard of War, we want to take out this guy. We want to take out this guy. Okay, you've traced Gale Wings. Okay, that is interesting. Now, what do we want to do here? Do we want to just go for the Priority Brave Bird and kill it off? Or do we want to try and stay around for the Roost? What have we got? She, We've got Bisharp, um, which is actually going to be weak to the Breloom. We kind of need Talonflame around. 
We kind of need Talonflame around to take out that Breloom. So, is it a best idea to go for the Roost? Or do we just want to get rid of this Gardevoir right here, right now? Mmm, that's a risky maneuver. She has got pretty good team here. Because we could Roost, but Gardevoir is so fucking powerful. It might not be a good idea to do that. Actually, I think we want to save the Talonflame for later. So, let's switch out to the Tyranitar. That's dark. That's the thing. If she goes for... If she goes for what I think she probably will, which is the... Because she'll have... If she Mega Evolves, then she'll turn into Fairy, which I presume is why she has her on the team. Oh, shit. I uh, kind of just fucked up there by taking too long. Oh, crap. What are we going to get? What are we going to move? What is our move going to be here? What is our move going to be? I don't know. We're going to use Flare Blitz. We're going to take out this Gardevoir. No problem at all, I don't think. And we should take it out. There we go. Okay, at least we killed the Gardevoir. I was taking too much time there, which was probably going to be my decision anyway. Oh, we held on with one HP. Guys, we held on with one HP. Let's just Brave Bird this final guy and get the sweep. Let's get the sweep. Make it real. Unless this guy's got Protect, we are absolutely golden here. Let's just Brave Bird it, kill it off, and we are done. The sweep was real, guys. This is going to be four times effective. This Breloom is not hanging around. Talon Flame absolutely sweeped up. And thanks to Jonathan Set there, thanks to Jonathan Set, then um, we managed to actually keep... Talon Flame alive throughout the sand stream, which was absolutely fantastic. Taking the other guys took the damage. That just shows you how how powerful fucking priority Brave Bird is. It's just absolutely ridiculous. We got the win there. We're getting our rankings up, guys. And that was an absolute monstrous victory. There was no no time at all needed there to get that win. So thank you very much for suggesting that set Jonathan. That was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. We got the Brave Bird off there with the Flare Blitz to kill uh, the Gardevoir and we we did well there. That was absolutely fantastic. I loved that. I loved that a lot. So thank you very much for that set. Guys, if you have any more sets you'd like to suggest, just like Jonathan there, then please go ahead and do that. Hopefully in the next episode, we might actually get to see Politoed, Zumaril, and Gengar get off some get off some action in the next time because I'd like to see that Mega Gengar combo along with the, the, the rain up in the air. I'm sure that is going to be an absolutely fantastic set. We'll get to see Bisharp at some point, I'm sure. And obviously our bulky Tyranitar there as well. But there we go guys, another win, which is absolutely fantastic for the series. We are rising up the rankings and hopefully we keep doing that. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed today's battle, then please drop a like. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you all for the next Victory Road episode. I've been Razbowski, you've been the beautiful bastards as always for watching. And I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye!